We've learned that an Unidad captain named Fuentes has been working with Yuri and Polito. Interrogate Fuentes and see what intel he can give us. I'll drive. All right, let's roll. Ready? Fire, Roger. fire, fire. Heads up. Santa Blanca's out in force. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. Ready? Open fire. I copy. Weapons free, weapons free. We're clear. Fire. Wilco. What's going on? He's dead.
Ready? Open fire. Copy that. I'm opening fire on these shitheads. That's one down. Well, that was messy as shit. Sorry about this, brother, but I gotta have the car. Out. Hello. Get out. Drone is up. Sniper, top I'm of the tower. Getting a position. Target acquired. Standing by. That tango's down. Sniper up in the tower. Roger, let me get in position. Roger that, target marked. Tango down. Okay, this is the Unidad firebase. We're looking for the captain who's in contact with Yuri and Polito. We need the target alive. Roger that. Who else? Yo, eyes on the grunt. Where you got him? Over there, in the bunker. There's a weapons case over here. This will go nice with my boots. Roger 
Thank you, buddy. Another Move tango. It. Target acquired. Tango down. We got a sniper, get down! We're out of the cage. Man, they're deep in the weeds now. Here we go. Got it. Eyes on the Unidad captain. Roger, let me get in position. Roger, target acquired. Engaging. Target eliminated. It's getting quiet over there. They must think we left. Roger that. Tango. Moving. Roger that. Target marked. Roger. I need a better get position. Got him. He's down. Got another tango. Clear. How are you guys holding up?
Gracias, de devolveré mil veces el favor. Por otro lado, esos charros van a pasar. Gracias, uno más. Gracias, uno más. Salvado, mi hombre, gracias. Tal vez no todos son los importantes. Check this spot out for intel. What the hell is this? How's it going, fucks? <coughs> Mierda! You may as well kill me now. I'm not talking, carajo! Well, that's your choice. But with a pair of sick fucks like Yuri and Polito, one day that might be you hanging from their ceiling. You can't trust them. It would be a relief if I took them out of your life. Look, I'm not a snitch, but let's just say, yeah, they freak me out. The thing is, they're not even in Itaqua. So call them back to Itaqua. Tell them you've got a package ready. <coughs> Oye, Polito. I got a lamp ready for delivery. Un borrego. Vale. Nomad, we finally got a 20 on Yuri and Polito. The activity cross-referenced the car's GPS with that description you got from the prisoner. They're at a hunting lodge. Rumor has it, they use that spot for their enhanced interrogations. Send us the location and we'll take care of it. Put them in the ground for me. Make sure they feel the pain. Let's get back to it. How's it going, fuckstick? Now that our couple are heading back to Itaqua, all we need to do is find out exactly where the hell they're gonna be. We need to head standing down. We're good to go. Let's pay these fuckers back for what they did to Sandoval. I don't care how you do it, so long as they both end up dead. I'll fly.
Advance on the lodge. Stay alert. We've got enemy activity nearby. Move in. Watch those doorways and corners. This must be where Sandoval cashed in. Bowman said they kept him alive for 47 hours. Tough son of a bitch held out for a long time. I feel like he was waiting for us to come get him and we're real fucking late. Time to make it right. Cariño, who were you before you met? Mamacita, I was nobody. Nothing. I could not have even imagined a life so deep, a love so full as the love I have with you. Oh, Gordo, I feel the same. I was half a person before I met you. I was a faded image, out of focus, until I could see myself through your eyes. Damn. Just now, when I was breaking that man's hands, I was imagining that he had tried to touch you. Come on, you're such a jealous man. And each finger I broke was punishment for... <laughs> Whoever the fuck you are, I'm gonna bleed you slow. What the hell are you doing? Take cover. Shit balls. security infrastructure was being attacked. It made me question if La Plaga, our head sicario, was up to the task, or if he was too distracted with social media antics. Are you too busy chasing pussy on the internet to do your fucking job? Or is fucking your job? No, Pifi. He's my brother, Sueño. I will keep him in line. La Plaga got the message. Too well. He doubled down. Whoever is behind this, know that we will find you. Know that for every one of us you kill, we will kill ten civilians at random. There is no such thing as innocent to me. The little pendejo had no idea how much damage he had just caused. The Santa Blanca Security Forces. Run by El Muro, childhood friend and personal bodyguard to El Sueño. El Muro means the wall, as in no one gets over it, no one gets under it, no one gets around it. SBC Security Forces recruit hard and train harder. Instructors from Israel, South Africa, Russia, and unfortunately, even the good old US of A. Polygraphs, first of every month. Pass, you pick up your paycheck. Fail? Yeah. Don't fail. Even so, El Muro has a polygraph system of his own. These Sicarios, aka gunmen, get intense training in marksmanship, surveillance, driving. Two-thirds wash out to become... Hakones. The guys who make it get assigned to various regions as enforcers, guards for labs and shipments, hitmen. Some become drivers, surveillance specialists, spies, and torturers. 
Just below El Muro is Santa Blanca's head, Sicario. The Plaga. The Plague. You may ask, how does a show-off party boy rise to be the second-in-command of Santa Blanca security? Answer? Spurn. La Plaga is El Muro's little brother. But don't kid yourselves. He's the nastiest motherfucker on the internet. And yes, I have been on 4chan. Don't worry. You'll see what I'm talking about. Francisco Ricardo Munguia. El Muro. The Wall. The Wall Between Me and My Enemies. The Wall Between Me and Death. We were born hours apart in the same village. As boys, we were as poor as the rats that scrambled across our dirt floor. Our huts in the shadows of the hilltop mansions, where the narco bosses lived like conquerors. El Muro took a different path. He joined the army. Special forces. He rose through the ranks, helped to protect the local narcos, was paid in cocaine and money along with promotions. When we met again, Francisco, hermano, why are you still in the army? You and me together, we could rule. We will protect each other, as we did when we were boys. We will share, like brothers. Compa, you people took out two of the scariest pinches culeros in all of Bolivia. People are becoming brave now. You've shown the people that the cartel can bleed. <laughs> 